All right, let's try this again, round two. So, we are going live on um, the Facebooks and the Instagrams. That's why you'll see me looking back and forth. Give me one second. Um, and we'll get started in the next like 60-ish seconds. Um, let me just get us up and going on Facebook and on Instagram so that way you guys see me see this face on every single platform that you tune into. All right. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Hope you guys' day's going well. Let me finish tagging some people here on uh, the Facebooks and then we'll get live and going. How's your guys' day going? All right, all right, let's go live here. Okay, now I'm live on, now I'm live on Facebook and I'm live on Instagram. Hope you guys' day's going well. Um, I got I got like a, a workout or two to uh to do right after this, and uh, some client updates and programs. But enough about me. Well, actually, we're getting we're gonna learn a little bit more about me. But it's always gonna all of this stuff is always guys going to relate back into you and your fitness journey. So if you are on Facebook. Make sure to say hi and wave because for some reason it does not let me know when people pop in. If you are on Instagram, just make sure to say hi and wave as well. Hope you guys' day is going well. Um, so on today's today's live, by the way, if you do not know if you are new to this, I am doing 14 days of uh, live videos, all right? So this is day three. All right, I'm, I'm gonna, I might be changing the time next week or maybe over the weekend, we'll see. But as of right now, we're doing 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time every single day. All right, so unless I tell you something different, that's the time for you to get a ton of value. All right, so today, guys, what I am going to be talking about, <clears throat> um, I'm gonna be talking about uh, a little bit about my fitness journey, um, how fitness changed my life a bit. And, um, you know, just kind of give you guys some insight and hopefully you guys get, take something away from this when it's all said and done. That's the goal is for you to be able to take away something from this, um, so that you all learn and or can apply and or get motivated to get moving in the right direction. All right. So, um, <clears throat> how fitness changed my life. So for me, like fitness has always been in my life one way or another, always like been fairly active played basketball um i want to say since like fifth grade so i was always always around like fitness and or sports and um i started working out consistently um after i got wayne what's up yvette amit what's up meet i know somebody sorry my bad man i mean so um yeah guys so um i started working out consistently when i was like really really letting myself go um i'm like five nine five ten so i was around 208 um and like not a healthy 208 i was like a, a hefty 208 208 for my height is not a very healthy weight especially for the amount of um exercise weight experience that i had it was not a healthy weight um so, um, yeah, I mean, as I mentioned, I've always kind of been active in one sense or another, um, especially like with basketball and whatnot, but I noticed I was getting really out of shape, um, and I was struggling with like how I was feeling, um, mentally and physically. So, um, I decided that it was time to start making a change for myself. I feel tech. My bad, my bad. For me, I'm saying for me, not for anybody else. Uh, and I, I was just, I decided it was time to start making a change. So like, I started getting um, really consistent with my training and my eating. Uh, and I started eating healthier, cleaner. I didn't have a full understanding, but I, you know, I think all of us, you guys could let me know in the comments, just say yes or put an emoji or something. All of us in one sense or another know a healthier, quote unquote, healthier way to eat, right? How to make better choices. I, I, I feel like that's, that's a safe assessment that we could all make, right? That all of us can make um, healthier choices, right? So if you're on the Facebooks, 
let me know if you if you know how to make healthier choices. If you're on Instagram, let me know if you know how to make healthier choices. I'm sure everyone in one sense or another knows that, you know, we can make healthier choices and we know how to, right? So I started being consistent with my training. <laughs> I started being consistent in my training and working out. Um, and like everything was going good. It's moving in the right direction. This was probably the most consistent I've been. Uh, other than maybe a few summers prior to that. And then, so I was doing that and I was playing in this like men's basketball league. Um, and then uh, I tore my ACL, which was very, very fun. Not, it was fucking terrible. It was um, probably the most physical pain I've ever been, t been through in my life. And uh, I do not wish it upon my worst enemy. Um, so I was kind of going through that, had like terrible, like the insurance process alone was a whole, that's a whole other like topic that I could talk about, but let's just say I went to it. I tore my ACL in October. I did not have surgery until March. Okay. But in between that time, very, very terrible process. Um, health, health care is terrible in America. Um, but um, my leg was turning purple, yellow, everything. Like it was, it was disgusting. Um, so I tore my ACL and kind of going through the process of doctors telling me that it's not tore and we need to do another CT scan or uh, MRI or whatever the hell at that time. Um, and then two months after that, so I'm going through all of this and then two months after that, um, my mom passes away unexpectedly. Um, so it wasn't like health issues. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't, um, it wasn't the fact that like, yeah, it just wasn't health issues. It wasn't something that was expected. It was like, a, it was an unexpected death. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, it took a hit on me. It was probably like one of the hardest times of my life because I was just like laying there and I was completely sedentary going from like being fairly active to being sedentary. And I was like eating out almost every day, uh, to, uh, so like to, from like physical activity to almost nothing to now my mom passes away unexpectedly. Um, about a year and a half after that, Hey Sandra. So about, um, about a year and a half after that, about a year and a half after my mom passes away, um, I tear my Achilles. So now I've, so like now the series of events to review is, um, tearing my, uh, tearing my ACL, mom passing away, tearing my Achilles about a year and a half after. So I was like, great. Awesome. So, you know, I felt helpless after my second surgery, um, within like two years, like, and I knew that I needed to <clears throat> take control of my health. Um, and for me, fitness, uh, did help me to take control back of my life and feel structured. Um, I struggled with how I was feeling for so long and I needed something that could help me change my body and also like upgrade my mindset and completely change. Um, so it was hard at first. Um, I tried eating clean. I tried eating every two hours. I tried um, fasting, I tried intermittent fasting, but it didn't make sense to me because I'm like, I could intermittent fast, but eat whatever I want. This doesn't make sense. I tried low carb, I tried low fat, I tried um, uh, training fasted. So I tried a million different things. I, like when I, when I tell you guys, when you guys read my posts and I'm talking about like, yeah, I've been through this and I've been through, I've really been through this. I'm not just like saying it to try and sell you something. Like I tried it all. Um, and I got some results, <clears throat> but I didn't really start making any changes until I started getting a better understanding of nutrition, doing some like heavy compound movements, heavy compound lifts, actually like tracking my lifts. Like I used to be the guy that would have a little notebook in the gym and write down my lifts. And, uh, to me, it's kind of funny because it's like, it's one of those things where, uh, people like kind of like make fun of you. Right. 
until they start seeing your progress. And I say this to clients all the time, but they start making fun of you until they start see, they're like, why the hell are you writing this stuff down? Um, but I was tracking my lift and I was getting better and better every single time, every single week. Um, and that was just the way I tracked. And then they would, people would add, people went from like trying to make fun of you about it to, Hey, so what do you, uh, what do you think about this supplement or this food or this exercise? And if you're going through a fitness journey or a transformation journey and somebody's like mocking you or telling you about something, um, that's just cause they're in one sense or another, they're jealous and, or they're just a fucking hater. It doesn't matter. It has nothing to do with you regardless but usually those same exact people that were making fun of you and or not supporting you along your journey will come back around i digress um i tried i tried everything so i tried like i tried everything i tried low carb i tried carb cycling i tried fasting i tried doing fasted cardio i uh i, I shared this with clients the other day but i used i tried i remember for a summer straight i was in a hoodie no i was in like shorts like two pairs of shorts some windbreakers um a white beater a few t-shirts a thermal a hoodie and doing like interval interval uh like high intensity interval training on the stairmaster first thing in the morning so walking out of there like sweating like a pig like i was getting ready for a fight like i did some extreme shit but anyways with all that stuff <clears throat> i got some results but I didn't really start making changes until I really, and long-term changes, because when I would lose weight from all that stuff, I would just bounce right back. Um, but I didn't really start making changes until I started um, understanding nutrition more, like I said, uh, doing heavy compound movements, tracking my lifts. So, you know, I decided um, that's kind of like what pushed me and helped me to uh, go into online training and go into the online training route um, because I didn't want anybody else to go and suffer through the same things that I was going through because it sucks and it's the absolute worst when you feel like you've tried everything and, uh, you're just absolutely helpless. Um, and I didn't, I didn't want others to feel that way. And, uh, as I mentioned, that's like part of why I got into online, um, online training and, um, you know, that's, uh, like, like my injury helped me along the way. Um, because had I not got injured and it's, it's helped me learn a lot of things, by the way, guys, if you're ever like going through some shit and you are still pushing through with your fitness journey and like your health and still trying to be a better version of yourself. Like if, if you, I challenge you, if you can do it at that point in your life, like everything else is just a breeze. So, um, yeah, I mean, um, the, the, the process with the doctors was, was terrible. Like I said, it took me five months between when I got injured to actually have surgery. Cause they kept on telling me that I need another MRI and then I would take a, like I had a HMO. Yeah. I had HMO. So I'd have to always see a doctor before they could, before I could do something else. It was, it was terrible. Um, so anyways, um, that's, that's a little bit about me, um, how I got into, uh, fitness, how I got into my fitness journey and how, um, fitness really, really changed my life. Um, so, you know, I hope that that has helped you guys, uh, because, um, yeah, like you just, you never know because, when I was, when I was, uh, and I, again, I don't wish this upon my worst enemy, but when I was injured, um, like, man, like when you go from being like fairly active to literally not being able to walk, it's the most helpless feeling in the world. I'm like crutching in the grocery store. Like, man, if I get robbed right now, like this little kid over this little six year old kid could come beat me up right now. Like I feel completely helpless. So, uh, I'm saying all that to say like, Hey guys, like, make sure to take advantage of your health, make sure to, um, you know, take advantage while you can, because you never, you really, really never know when something might happen to you, yourself, your family, your health, and, uh, everything else around you. So 
hope that helped guys uh that's a little bit about me a little bit about how i got into fitness um why i got into fitness and uh and that's it so i hope that that helped guys um if you're watching on instagram this will be up on replay in my igtv if you're watching on facebook i think it just lets you it'll just It'll just be on my feed so you can just always see it. Um, but yeah, I hope that helped, guys. Do you guys have any questions for me on your fit? It doesn't have to be related to me or my story that I just shared with you. But do you guys have any just random questions about fitness, health, nutrition, anything right now? Because we've got, uh, I got like five minutes, five-ish minutes to spare. So any questions, comments, concerns? You guys want my OnlyFans uh, account number? <laughs> just kidding, I don't have an OnlyFans. <laughs> So if you have any questions, just pop them in the comments right now. Uh, otherwise, we're going to log off. Um, thank you if you made it this this far uh, through the live. I appreciate the shit out of you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and for those of you watching on replay, I hope um, that you learned something learned something from this, took something away, and, uh, and that's it. All right. I don't see any questions, so that's it. Hope you guys all have an amazing rest of your day. Have an amazing weekend. I'll see you guys all very, 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 very soon. Bye.